it's what 11:39 p.m. on March 23rd, 2013. It's not that far from midnight, so it's a, it's about to be the 24th. I have had surgery. I'm pretty sure I did make videos about it, and I have been on um, an opiate narcotic medication for pain. Uh, it's called Percocet or oxycodone with acetaminophen, which is basically Tylenol. And I have been absolutely miserable. Um, I'm pretty sure I probably did explain the surgeries that I was having. I've had issues with the medical people. Um, there's this thing called professionalism, and already to start off with Boston in general, the Boston area, and Massachusetts, uh, people get attitudes. Um, I mostly don't have that much beef with the actual doctor or surgeon. I think he was better overall than all the other people. There was one receptionist that was nice, but she lost credibility in my eyes when some of the shenanigans going on with her um, co-workers happened. But um, one thing that Really, I mean, to start off with, I'm already cranky. I'm not happy. I'm cranky, grouchy, unhappy, just uh, uncomfortable. And uh, if you know that about somebody, I mean, it's your freaking job to know that. You know, dealing with a person that, especially several people, if that's your career, um, you don't. You don't deal with them in like a really dismissive way. I mean, you you have to acknowledge people, you know, patience as a person, as a human being, to be perfectly honest. But this there was there have been a number of snafus that have occurred um, during this whole process, and I'm I'm rightly unhappy about it. Um, for one, when I came out of surgery and went to recovery room. Um, the doctor, the surgeon, he just up and left, never came to see me or check in on me or whatever wait to, for me to wake up. And I grew up in the greater Philadelphia area in South Jersey, and uh, when I had surgeries down there, they did. Um, after you had surgery, they would come into the room when you were waking up and talk to you, and not once, but at least twice, okay? And not just me, but other people that I knew that were my family. But I've had a number of surgeries up here and they don't do that. Um, I find that to be very bad. I don't I don't agree with that at all. Um, also, uh, the medical system as it is, I just, uh, there's so much wrong with it and they, it doesn't take a genius uh, engineer to make a better system. I mean, there's so many things that just should be common sense and should be fixed, but it's been screwed up on purpose for money reasons. But um, as I was saying, as I came out of my uh, surgery and I'm in recovery and I'm on freaking anesthesia, they, they constantly come at you with all these things. And I'm not exactly um, a coherent person and I haven't been all month either. But this I recall uh, very well um, was that it came out and they gave me, they give you all these things, they give you all these bandages and rolls of tape and they tell you all these things da -da 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 -da, and they give you envelopes with papers or other papers and they're folding them up. So this nurse hands me this paper, these papers, and in it is supposed to be like my instructions. And as she's going over it with, going over it with me, which she perhaps has done, I don't know, countless times. Except I haven't. Okay, this is my one and only, and I'm never gonna do it again. Okay, so keep that in mind, bitches. Um, and I have every right to bitch at you because you're a fucking bitch, all of you fucking nurse bitches. And if there are any nurse, nurses watching this, I want you to sort of use this as a gauge to sort of uh, compare and contrast yourself. Are you are you this kind of person? When you, when you do your job, do people leave the room uh, freaking despising you? 
okay? And doctors as well, okay? Because if you are, then fuck you and you deserve this for everyone you fucked over, okay? But the thing is, so I get these papers, and there's supposed to be three prescriptions, okay? I don't know this. There's uh, papers, white papers that are stapled together, and then there's a paper clip with two blue papers, and these two blue papers are prescription papers. And then as I'm going through the, the papers, now mind you, I'm really freaking on drugs, okay? I'm on, um, because the pain is so bad, they have to keep giving me this pain to some narcotic pain medicine, okay? And I'm also on anesthesia, and anesthesia makes me really weepy, okay? Like, it makes me cry. Whenever I'm waking up from surgery, I cry and I like a baby like when it be, when you disturb a baby and it's waking up from its nap or its sleep and it you know it, it's like that kind of instinct and I can't it, it's not voluntary it's not like I want to just be all weepy like that okay and I don't like conflict honestly but having to live up here in freaking Massachusetts it's like the only productive way to deal with people is not peacefully, which I would prefer, because that's my, my real nature. But I've had to learn over time that I have to, like, be, um, if people, you know, are screwing with me or messing with me, I have to get in their face. Uh, either that or the, when people get in my face, I have to go back and get in their face. Uh, because actually they're all cowards and they're all wusses and they just want to feel artificially like they're in control or whatever or they're powerful or whatever. When I push back, they shut up or then they go cry and run away or whatever. So I get these papers and I'm looking at it and I go through this list and get through paper, through paper after paper, you know, skimming it over, looking it over and... Because they told me to. She told me to. This, I mean, it's a good idea. It makes sense. I get to, like, I think it was, like, the last paper or one of the last papers. And it's talking about the instructions about each medication that I've been prescribed, blah, blah, blah. And one of them said Augmentin. Augmentin, if you don't know, is a very big pill of uh, a very strong type of antibiotic. It's a kind of amoxicillin with some other stuff in it. And it, it's big. It's really, really huge. And I'm thinking, like, augmented, and then it says, uh, for 14 days, right? Now, I'm not the sharpest person with math, but I had already gotten an augmented um, prescription before my surgery because it was so infected from sickness, right? And I'm thinking, well, 14 days, did he screw something up here, or he did he write something wrong or whatever? Because I only have the augmented from that he'd already given me. And I, there's definitely not enough for 14 days. That's two whole weeks. I mean, seven plus seven, seven weeks in a day times two, that's 14. And I didn't have any more. I had enough for uh, the weekend um, after that surgery. So I, um, <laughs> you know, I'm such a hothead in this video, right? I'm really aggravated, honestly. Um, so I'm looking, I go back and I look at these prescriptions, and it's um, oxycodone, and then there's um, some kind of anti-nausea medicine, and that's it. And so um, I go to the nurse, and I'm like, well, what am I, it, it, it says three prescriptions here, but I don't have an augmented prescription here. I mean, does he mean my other prescription of augmented that he's already given me, because I don't have enough for 14 days? know what's going on with that and they're like oh well I don't know um he's not here he left like he just left like uh, 15 minutes ago or whatever and I'm thinking what the hell I just I just came out of surgery and he's already gone for like 15 minutes so they get another they get another nurse and there's these other nurses and the next thing you know they are like well I have to leave my shift is over and then it's a shift change, and there's all these other nurses, and they're like, well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And it's just like, pass the blame off to someone else. Meanwhile, I don't have it, okay? So then I hit my post-operative um, uh, appointment, and meanwhile, I can tell you, like, the entire weekend, and the entire weekend that I, that after that surgery was absolutely miserable. I wasn't, I couldn't breathe through my nose. It was completely clogged. I, I had issues drinking water. I had issues 
getting medication into my body because um, I had because of the pain and the swelling in my throat because my tonsils were removed. Um, that was an issue, and I couldn't. It's like you, I can't eat anything. Uh, like there's so many things. I'm not allowed to eat. I'm allowed to chew food. I'm not allowed to have warm food. I'm not allowed. I mean, there's just so many of these things I can't do. I'm not even allowed to drive a car. I'm not allowed to go swimming. I'm not allowed to do sewing. I'm not allowed to do um, legal documents. All these freaking things, okay? It's like I'm a freaking invalid. I'm like not even legally allowed to be competent of my own affairs, okay? I'm not even supposed to be cooking. And I'm not allowed to exercise. I'm not supposed to take like long strolls, uh, you know. Um, so I go to my post op, and I told him that I'm like, look, I don't have, you know, what what's the deal with that? Like, um, I don't, you, because he, he he's the one that brought up the augmenting thing. And I'm like, oh, about that, um. In the paperwork, on the white, in the white papers, there was only, it said 14 days. I was like, what does that mean? I mean, I only have the old one. He's like, well, what about the new one? And I'm like, there wasn't a new one, you know? And then I even called them. I called them on the phone before that. Uh, this is before the post op. I even called them during the weekend because I have, like, a million issues that, that happened. Um, and he turned around. He got, like, really... Um, indignant with me and like the, the this look in his eyes that he gave me and he was like oh no well you must you you must have misplaced it you misplaced it but it wasn't even like how I just said it I mean it was really just like like how dare you you know you misplaced it you did it da, da, da. oh I came out of freaking post uh, I came out of freaking surgery and I misplaced it excuse you I was on drugs I was on freaking anesthesia how the heck did I misplace that no you you messed it up he's like well I wrote the rescript the I wrote you the prescription and he's going through all these papers and did that it doesn't matter whether you wrote it or not or you think you did or you have some copy of it it wasn't there it wasn't in the paper clip in my papers because I don't have it because I can I didn't I I, I can't even get a, a prescription for an antibiotic without a I can't get antibiotics without a doctor's prescription. You know what I'm saying? See, I can't even, I'm not even as sharp right now because of the medicine. The medicine makes me so very frustrated because I can't articulate myself real well. I'm not very coherent all the time. And, but it's like, it comes and it goes. And after being like all spaced out for because it could be hours it could be I don't know I, I have my concept of time is is screwy but but when it's like my everything becomes more focused or clear that's that's when I remember things and that I remember and the thing is my husband wasn't in the room at the time and I I don't have anyone to co corroborate what I said. And when I came out of surgery, my husband also wasn't there. So I have a lot of this kind of like where I, things go on even like I, I can't stand calling the people because it's like all they do is belittle me and put me down for things that aren't my fault. And, and it, it says even, they freaking give me a copy of my my rights as a patient and my responsibilities as a patient. I mean, do you think I'm not going to read that? I freaking read that. And then they're, all they do is violate my rights. And all they do is violate, like, like what I, according to what I'm responsible to do, if there's an issue, I'm, I'm bound to follow my responsibility of, of tell them it and then when I actually do that it's like how dare you call me so I would actually have to do my job I I'm just so freaking frustrated I'm tired of freaking I don't know I'm tired of always being like victimized here right and the thing is like I, that I wonder I mean does this is this so common I mean, at first it just seems like, I mean, is it just me? Is it just me or is it just always me? Or am I just making it out to be like it's always me? Or is it that this happens so often they're just banking on the fact that people don't want to get involved or people don't want to take the time to, you know, out of their day for like a five-minute thing and report something or whatever. Except it's just, 
it's just so screwy. And I mean, this doctor and his whole office has like all these awards for how they're supposed to be like a great team or a great doctor or physician and bedside manner and blah, blah, blah. God, I mean, I would never treat somebody like the way I got treated, like the way I get treated multiple times over. Then, then there's the whole, the issue with trying to call these people when I actually needed help or whatever. They absolutely freaking belittled me. And then because of the medication, the, this always happens every time I have surgery. I hate freaking um, uh, oxycodone shit. It, it makes you, it makes me have um, constipation like really bad, really bad. And then I got impacted stool and I, I had, I have hemorrhoids now, really big bad ones. And the only way to deal with it is to manually, you know, take it out manually. Ugh, it's not fun. It's really not fun. And then I had issues where I couldn't drink. I had issues because like, I couldn't eat. I couldn't keep food in my stomach for like the first week, actually longer than the first week. Uh, it was like a week and a half. I had issues um, because my I would get nausea. Then I had issues with um, heartburn. Um, I had issues with hives, uh, like itchy hives I had where I broke out all in my inside of my gums. My gums, I got all kinds of br uh, broken out blisters in my gums from uh, the surgery. Um, I don't know, I guess they cut me or whatever, or maybe they used uh, Novocaine because I'm allergic to it and the soft tissues like that. Um, I got it. It's just so... I hate this. And then my sense of smell, it, like it comes and it goes and... Same thing with my sense of my taste. I can't necessarily taste things. It's been really, really frustrating. And the 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 thing that I, I, I find the most um, sort of disheartening is that um, if I don't if I don't whine about it and I don't complain about it and I don't bitch about it. Um, People are just com completely complacent to the fact that I just had surgery. Um, people are just like, whatever. Like, like they're like, what's wrong with you? Or like, I freaking had surgery like two days ago or wh whatever, a week ago or three weeks ago or whatever. And then I constantly have to keep telling people that. Like, what? That, that drives me crazy as well. I swear, I must have explained the whole thing I don't, countless times on Facebook. People who have, people eat, interact with me daily, and like just a few days ago, they're like, "Well, what happened to you?" And I'm like, "I had surgery. Don't you remember? I was talking to you like two weeks ago." God, what the hell is wrong with people these days? I mean. I'm the one on drugs here. I'm the one on freaking pain meds. <sighs> Somehow I wonder if this is gonna sound like totally like a mad woman. Totally freaking mad woman. Oh my god. Yeah, well, I'm on drugs. I'm on freaking oxycodone. Yay. I'm not supposed to have aspirin. Nobody can agree about why either. You know what? I took it anyway. You know why? Because it takes the swelling down. Yeah. Whatever. <sighs> so. I don't know. Man, I don't know what the heck even the point of this life is. Honestly. <sighs> Although sometimes people can be really nice. So there have been some really nice things. And some people have been... Uh, really supportive and friendly uh, at times as well, so I guess I can't complain about that. Uh, but after going through the whole thing, I mean, my whole head, my head, my neck, back here even, here, my face, all puffed up. And then because of my constipation, my whole abdomen puffed up. And then I felt like my 
my thighs were like water balloons. It was like, and like, I'm just walking around, it feels like it's all sloshing and everything. But, I don't know, I haven't really eaten much at all. And now, I don't know, I guess I lost some weight or whatever, but... I'm totally a bad girl. Whatever. I'm a medicine. Don't. Don't be hating. <laughs>